Wiggy Silverbottom is back at it again, with his trademark combo of excess free time and surplus bad ideas. This time he's organised an egg hunt in Freshly Meadows. Yes, he's buried his priceless collection of Fitz Pocket eggs all over town, and now it's your responsibility, nay, pleasure, to get them back. Look out for hidden eggs around campus and run the egg hunting course to find eggs hidden deep underground. Run the egg hunting course, head down the rabbit hole and find as many eggs as possible. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Two Point Campus. We are playing the Easter challenge mode challenge <laughs> today and it's going to involve a lot of uh, clicking and micromanagement. If you've played Cookie Clicker or any sort of click-based game, you're going to have a lot of fun here. So the first thing we want to do is buy the most expensive plot without any buildings. Then we're going to build our campus building along this top plane here. And that's basically where we're going to try and fit all of our campus rooms because most of this is outdoor. If you've played through the campaign mode and you have completed the level where you finally get the archaeology course unlocked, this is exactly like that. It's archaeology, but instead of digging up priceless artifacts, we're digging up Easter eggs and uh, going to gorge ourselves stupid on lots of chocolate. So the first thing I'm doing is putting in a dormitory here. You can use any kind of dormitory, just make sure it's enough to keep your shoes happy because there's a lot of stuff that's going to be focused on boosting grades in this one uh, mainly because you basically get um, unlockables very similar to the love bombs uh, based on certain criteria that you will have to hit and we want to make sure that we're hitting that criteria as quickly as possible in a uh, <laughs> very um, efficient way so we're going to start by putting down our rabbit holes which are the archaeology dig sites and once they're in, we're going to flesh them out a bit. Make sure you make these quite sizable. Uh, you don't want to make them small because they take a while to kind of dig through and uh, you want to make a, a large area so that you can maximize the number of eggs per rabbit hole that you are building. So we're going to build two large ones to start with. And the aim is to try and get our campus level increased as high as possible. Uh, because that's going to allow us to expand our course, take on more students and open up more dig sites so that we can unlock more of these eggs as we go through. Now, most of the eggs you're going to get though are from your own clicking, so you're going to need to manage things quite uh, intensely in this one. Um, full disclosure, this one took me about an hour, but we're going to be skipping through parts so I can keep this nice and short for you guys so you can maybe follow along. If not, uh, I'm happy to play this level on stream or something again and you can kind of go through it all bit by bit. But I'll try and explain things as we go along. So we're going to put in a toilet and a shower block now. The toilets are quite important because you often get um, tasks from your for your janitors to clean or unclog five toilets. So this one's only got four in, but that's not too much of a problem. If you want to put an extra toilet in and make one with five in, they'll kind of get cleaned all at the same time and you'll be able to fulfill that objective very quickly. I'm using a template here for my library that I used in the Space Academy course. It's not amazing, it's not hugely efficient, but it was a quick kind of fix for me and allowed me to get that down very quickly. It also has the large um, librarian's assistant uh, desk in, so you get a boost to the learning rate. We don't have a um, bookcase that specializes in improving the egg hunting course so we're going to need to make sure that we've got uh, plenty of boosts to the learning rate within that library so so far we have our two dig sites we've got one dorm a bathroom a shower room and a library we're then going to start hiring some janitors once we begin our academic year and start bringing in a little bit more money we'll be able to do a little bit more but firstly we need to try and upgrade our course to level four we're then going to come in here and we're going to drop our tuition fees. That's going to improve the happiness of our students and allow us to bring in more students. So I managed to get it down so that we had like 30 students in. Now, I do know that often people like to do these levels in eights and any kind of campus development needs to go in in eights because you can only actually get eight in your lecture theatre. We're not using a lecture theatre in this course, so we're just going to try and boost the amount of students in these courses and see how we get on with that. So we're going to have 30 students in our first year. We're going to let them come in and then we're going to see what happens. So egg hunting students need to head down a rabbit hole in their classes where they'll uncover eggs for the campus's collection. Support your course to find more eggs during excavations. 
Outside of the classrooms, you can add to your total by finding hidden eggs, complete objectives, and reveal clues that lead you to more eggs. If you see a sparkle, you can see one right in the middle of our screen there, we pick that up and gather a seasonal egg. That increases our tally. We have one. For our gold objective, we need 700. Now, my advice is to go for around about the 200 mark at the end of your first year. We have two years for this one, so a little bit easier than the graveyard shift. But you've got a lot of clicking to do. These are going to sparkle every now and then. You'll get one at random intervals that you'll be able to click on and pick up. That will increase your tally, so we're now on three. As you complete these objectives, like you can see our first one here is to level up one student, you'll get a little bit of a boost of like three or four sparkles. Now, as the level progresses, you will get more objectives, so you can have up to three at any one time, that's the most I've had. And uh, once you get that, the, the, the objectives will increase in difficulty. On completion of a more difficult objective, you will get more seasonal eggs to pick up. You do have a limited time to get them before they vanish, so I would recommend, as soon as you complete a seasonal objective, slow your timer right down so it's at the snail's pace of things. It'll give you a lot more time to collect those eggs and you won't miss anything. So this level is a lot of adjusting speed very quickly to then slow it down again because you need to um, get those objectives complete very quickly. We're also going to be very selective in our objectives. So if there's something that we can't hit, we'll abandon it and wait for the next one. It's not worth spending months and months doing these objectives if you're then only going to get a few of these new eggs dropping. We're going to put a private tuition room in. Now this might not seem like a good move right now, but later on, the, the, some of the harder objectives will include getting your um, average grade to 90% or having a certain amount of level 14 students, and that's the important one. Those are the most difficult objectives that I've experienced in this level. If we can hit that 14, uh, the uh, five uh, level 14 students at the end of it, we will then be able to get a huge number of eggs to uh, take us over the line. So. It's not looking like we're getting many so far, but that's basically because we've not had any objectives complete and our archaeology courses, our egg hunting courses, haven't actually dug any new eggs up. So at the moment, at the beginning, you're not going to get much done. We've completed our objective to level up one student and then been given one to clean a toilet. So immediately we're going to hire another janitor, put them in there. Obviously our toilets haven't yet been used because students have just arrived on campus and are now in lessons. But the minute that that happens, they're going to go to the toilet after their classes and we'll be able to get one cleaned immediately so another thing is you're going to have like various objectives that will include things like um watering plants cleaning toilets be prepared to find a janitor pick them up and find a plant that needs watering it'll just speed things along for you also don't put any bins in put your vending machines in but leave bins you'll often get objectives that are complete up to 30 janitor tasks or sweep up some litter and you want to make sure that the janitors have plenty to do in this level because a lot of those Easter objectives are tied to your janitor's activities. Another bit of advice I would give to you now is don't, um, if you get a task to train, don't do it. If you get a task to upgrade, it, I'll leave it up to you. I did a few because I thought it was worth it, especially with having a medical room in here as well. That would be uh, a useful objective to complete. Uh, what else do I need to tell you? Although you don't require a lecture theatre, put a lecture theatre in and try to put a student lounge in as well. Um, you will get objectives that will ask you to um, complete some events. So having a cinema in there and a student lounge will allow you to put parties in and uh, cinema events. That would be really useful, especially if you want to use a sci-fi film to boost your students' uh, learning rate. So that's the kind of ultimate combo having regular uh, student cinema on that will allow you to improve the xp gains or leveling kind of capabilities of your students and just making sure there's lots to do when these objectives come up you might find that just kind of waiting and seeing what objectives you get will help you tailor your campus to the level but so far we're getting a lot of clean toilets a lot of water plants so make sure you put some plants in there i always have one in one of my dormitories anyway i've got two in them and then we just put a few in the corridor keeping an eye out for those sparkles you're going to find a lot of this level is uh, focused on you being quite zoomed out now the eggs won't spawn inside your campus buildings so you can use this to create definitive areas for where those eggs are going to spawn obviously with our um archaeology dig sites there we can't um 
overlap things so we can't have them backing up next to each other so you kind of end up with these little corridors either side that you've got to watch out for because they will sometimes spawn right at the end of one corridor and uh, it'll be quite difficult to spot them so keep yourself zoomed out and try your very best to click on them as much as possible and you can see here i've got that large open space of greenery there because that's where i'm trying to uh, force my eggs to kind of spawn and you can see there we got quite a few which took us up to 35. We keep doing this and as you can see we've had some dug up from the um, dig sites as well. You don't need to sell them, you can just leave them and when, when they eventually dig them all up they'll be automatically sold as the area resets. Once they're discovered they go into your count so it doesn't really matter. You can sell them, it'll speed things up a little bit, you'll get about $100 to $200 uh, dollars per egg that you sell but other than that you can just leave them and focus on other things. It would be not a great idea if you spent so much time selling those eggs that you missed a couple of new eggs spawning within your kind of designated area. And that's the reason why we put the rabbit holes around the outside of our campus so that we could then put in, um, well, well, so then we've then got that gaping area where um, more eggs should hopefully spawn for us. And it works pretty well for me. So we're at 56 eggs now and the bulk of our first kind of digging has been completed. We're still getting them spawn in. Earning $40,000 is a pretty good objective to get because it means in a couple of months we know we're going to get a nice little boost to the number of extra eggs we have spawning. The only other thing I've done now is put in a medical office because we do get some medical issues. I would say this was optional but it's worth having in because it gives you a machine to upgrade if you get that as an objective and choose to do it. The medical issues don't cause too much of an issue but also because a lot of the later objectives in this level are tied in with your students performance and academic grades you want to try and keep your students as happy as possible. Money shouldn't really be an issue because you get quite a little, quite a bit coming in here and uh, it's pretty easy to make a little bit more money once you uh, get started. So we're going to jump ahead now to the next building that I put in which is most likely going to be a um, student uh, lounge or a lecture theatre. So let's just move on and we'll give a little brief update on where we're getting on and I'll keep talking things through. So we're in mid-March now, we've got 133 eggs and our current objective is to water five plants. We've got one more to do and then we should get another objective come up. And uh, we're doing pretty well. I'd like to aim for around about the 200 mark at the end of year one. That should give us uh, enough to kind of go through with the last 500 <laughs> eggs. And uh, you can see here, completing that objective has just given us a load of new pickups that we're going to just grab as quickly as we can. And as you can see, we slow the speed right down so we can catch all of those. The next step is to complete one event. Now, usually I'd probably be trying to get my lecture theater up and running now, but we're a little bit off on uh, getting the lecture theater. We could put a basic one in, but I'd like to put a fully kitted out one in. So for now, we'll put in this lounge that I used for the Valentine's Day challenge and uh, we'll immediately schedule a party in there. And that, la that event, once that's completed, we'll get some more extra eggs to collect. We're currently at 142, which is pretty good going. So we'll just uh, let this one go through, and as you can see, stay zoomed out, keep looking for things to come up. Still don't put any bins in, but we have added some clubs. We've added the Nature Club, the Book Club, and the uh, Power Nap Club. And we'll probably put in speed walk. Oh, we've put in speed walking as well. Sorry, um, those four clubs will work really well just to boost your students. And also, another objective you will get is to improve the levels of certain students in particular clubs. The one I mostly got was Nature Club. I think that's the one that's kind of hard coded for the level. I'm not sure if any of the rest of them will come up, or there's a generic improve the level of a certain uh, student in clubs. So. Next year, we know that we have some objectives and that's why we've unlocked the new plot here. It also gives us a little bit more visibility if we get some more extra eggs spawning in. We're going to upgrade our course. That should uh, help us out. We're at level eight. And uh, by the end of this year, I don't think I improve it any further, but getting it to level eight was enough for me to complete the level. If you manage your finances better than I do and uh, keep everything very, very basic, you should, you might be able to get to like level 10 or something, but uh, the next kind of upgrade for the course, you need 40 course points for, I think. So you may need to go up a few more levels to actually achieve that. 
One other um, objective I did get after completing uh, one of the student-based objectives was to get my campus level to 15. That would give you another huge bonus to the number of eggs you get. So again, if your students aren't being trained particularly well and there's no chance of them getting that, just keep abandoning those objectives until you get a new one coming through and uh, hopefully you will get that final objective to improve your campus level. Um, it's all definitely going to hinge on uh, that final most difficult objective being complete to give you a nice little boost to take you up and over. So we completed our event there and again more eggs spawning in which is really good. We're going to push forward to the end of the year and I'm going to talk through any extra bits that I've done and as you can see we've got an upgrade item request there. We're not going to take that on because at the moment I don't have the money to put an upgrade in and I don't think I'm going to make enough money to do it so it's a wasted objective. We may as well abandon it and move on. But we are at the end of our first year. We've got 215 eggs and it's looking pretty good. We've just had a nice boost to our profits and we've done pretty well with a 100% pass rate, an 84% average assessment score and a few other awards giving us a nice little boost to our coffers going into the new year. Now, what we're going to need to do for this new year is add in another couple of uh, another three rabbit holes actually due to our course being at level eight and taking on more students so i think our student capacity is now like 90 so we've got quite a lot of students coming in and we just need to be aware of that so next up we have an objective to complete one event so we will schedule in a cinema or something just so that we've got that done we then start building our new rabbit holes and again we want to try and keep these um, quite tight but also make them big enough to uh, get a maximum number of eggs from each one now I'm pretty sure there's some maths around this so you can work out uh, how many you're going to get based on the area that you're um, rabbit holes take up and as you can see here it's not a great uh, location so we're going to try and just remove a couple of uh, bits off the end of this one and it still doesn't work so we'll add another take another slice off sorry and then uh, move further along to uh, maximize it out and we'll carry this on all the way to the end here so we've got a huge one and then we'll be able to put two entrances in, maybe just the one actually. We, we want to try and funnel our students in a particular direction. Put all of the extra bits in as well and then confirm that. And then our last one is going to go kind of around about here, going all the way along. We'll get rid of those two planters. And I want to leave a little gap because I'm going to need to add some more student buildings in. One of them is the computer lab. So we need to kind of make sure that we've got enough space in our main campus to to actually put those in so we get rid of these two planters then that's a nice uh, decent sized rabbit hole for our students which we'll add the extra items in like we've done with all of the other ones just one of each really you don't need multiples add that in and confirm that and then our next step is to just move around a few of these items like the bookworm and stuff just put them in some little pockets now the one problem with this is if you have the nature club you're not going to fill uh, fit in an allotment if you uh, build it exactly the same way as i do so that kind of stunts the growth of that club but it's not too much of a problem and like i said i managed to complete the level without it the next step is going to be to just expand the campus building we're going to bring it down another couple of squares and then all the way along and then we need to do a little bit of moving around in this area too so we'll shift all of our kind of club signups into this larger area here which is full of corridors once that's built in we can then start moving a few other items around so for now i'm just moving the dorms and the medical office a little bit further again so it's flush against that back wall then we'll sort out where our lecture theater is going to go I think probably uh, having it just backing out at the end of that wall there would be a good idea. Uh, it, it's a bit of a weird rotation and I think this is bigger than the uh, usual standard size. I just wanted to make it bigger when I did the uh, last challenge mode. So we can put that in. We can reduce the size of that if you want and make it a little bit of a smaller lecture theatre. But it fits where I'm going and uh, I can kind of work with it anyway. We move all of our club signups over to another area. Again, with a speed walking club, we'll shift that somewhere else. Probably moving that plant. Yep, and then again, the speed walking signs will go in and we'll just try and put all of these other plants in different locations. So, like I mentioned, we've already got a objective to get one more event completed. Now, one thing I want to note, if you do complete an objective right before the end of the year, 
and you go over into that kind of waiting period, you won't be able to get those eggs that you've spawned. That doesn't mean they've vanished. As soon as you start the new year, they will spawn. So if you kind of miss out on a few, don't worry about it. It doesn't happen in this playthrough, but in my first attempt at this, I did see that happen. I'd completed an objective right before the end of the year and uh, was a little bit disappointed to see that I couldn't actually pick up any eggs. And then as soon as I started the new year, they all spawned in for me. So don't worry about that. So you can see we've got one event to complete here and it doesn't look like it's actually scheduled in. So I'm going to have to do that. But our second objective is to earn $100,000. And because we've got two dormitories in now, we should actually be able to complete this fairly quickly. We've got requests coming in to put in some more speed walking stuff, so we're going to do that. And then what we'll do is we'll jump ahead a little bit further and I'll update you on the progress. But you want to be aiming for, at the end of your first year, around about 200 plus. That's probably going to give you the best indication of how close you're going to come to completing this level. Bear in mind, when I finish my gold objectives, I think I came out of this with about 759 eggs collected, which was really good going. Oh, 739, not 759. <laughs> so... 39 over target uh, so it was still pretty tight and if you do miss bits you're going to set yourself back which is why it's really important to go from if you're going to try and speed through it i wouldn't advise that you need to be slowing things down at regular intervals as soon as you hear the sparkle you know that an egg spawned and it's time to pick it up so slow things down and then move back probably important to kind of learn the hotkeys so you can do it using your keyboard but i was just uh, using my mouse i think i wore my mouse out completely by doing so much clicking on this one so um, it's uh, definitely worth keeping an eye on managing the speed at which you do things take it nice and slow and you should get there now before we do move on though you are starting to get requests for the digital consoles and stuff, which means we're going to need to build a computer lab. I'm not going to do it yet because I'd prefer another dormitory. That would allow me to bring in some more rental income, which will help me reach those $100,000 objectives a little bit quicker. Bear in mind, I didn't adjust the pricing of the course when uh, I had students coming back in again because I wanted to maximize the number of students I had using those archaeological dig sites to uh, get more eggs as they progress through their course also gives me a nice um, chance to have more students to increase the XP gains of and level up because you will get that as an objective too to level up a certain amount of students. Right, let's move on. I've talked enough for this section and we'll update you a little bit further into the year. All right, so we're coming up to the end of November. We're on 351 eggs and we're just grabbing janitors. And if you grab a janitor, move them into a toilet block, the toilet itself will get a little white outline. That'll mean that that toilet needs cleaned. You can then drop the janitor into it and they will automatically start cleaning it. So obviously we want to um, fulfill student requests as well to keep them happy and keep them working. You can see here we've got the waning moon and a plotter requested. The plotter will go in our computer lab and the waning moon, when we get enough money, we'll be able to put that in. There we go. That can go in now as well. And unfortunately, like I mentioned earlier, the allotment just isn't going to fit with this configuration. You could make any of those um, actual um, rabbit holes a little bit smaller and then it might fit in. But for me, I didn't really need it. But you can see here we've just completed a nice objective to gain $100,000, spawning a load of seasonal eggs, which we can click on and take our tally all the way up. We're still about 330 odd short of the 700 for the uh, gold objective. Don't worry about it though, because if you've done everything kind of right and you've followed kind of these basic instructions, your students should be able to push you up and get you that maximum objective completed. We only have two at the moment, but soon enough we'll get a third, which will be one of the most difficult ones to get. Make sure you're getting the one that you can achieve and you should be okay. Like here, we've now got to level up 25 students. Our toilets are being cleaned and uh, that took a little bit longer because I was running it at a super slow mode. So we're going to jump ahead a little bit more, probably to when we get our third objective and we can talk a little bit about selecting selecting the correct one. So we are now getting our third objective and ours is currently to have a student average grade of 90%, average assessment score of 90%. As a result, we're going to start hiring some more teachers. If you've got enough money to do this earlier in the year, I would advise you do that. So at the moment, we've got quite a few level one teachers that we want to get rid of and replace with some uh, higher level teachers in the egg hunting course. That's going to allow our students to attain better grades and uh, pass uh, assessments at a higher rate. Of course, the assessment score I eventually abandoned, mainly due to the fact that I've got a lot of students on campus. 
That makes it very difficult to get an average grade across the board of 90% in terms of their assessments. So this isn't an objective that I would take. If you've got a smaller campus, you're probably gonna be uh, better off getting that average assessment score, but 90% is a very difficult one to achieve. So I'm gonna abandon this objective and go for something else. Looking at your teachers, inspirational speaking is a good one to have. Maybe someone who's trained well in private tuition, but mainly teachers that are very good at teaching this course in particular are what are going to help you succeed so you can see we've just had a request for the archaeology tools as well as getting in a nice boost to our eggs from uh, another objective being completed that's going to take us well into the 470 mark leaving us with about 230 225 to get in the last four months of the year which is a really good position to be in. If you're not around the 400 mark with like six months to go, uh, you're in a bit of trouble. Um, the um, third objective on completion will give you a lot of eggs. I think you can probably get about 50 or 60 from it, but you've got to be quick to click them. So just make sure that you're uh, prepared for that when it finally comes around and play it at a slower speed. What we're going to do now is start queuing up a load of events because I've been getting objectives, as you can see here, to complete three events, which is why having cinema and student lounge in is very good because you can run events in tandem to get those uh, completed very quickly. Uh, at the moment, it'll take me about a month to get them done because it's three. If you had like another student lounge or maybe even a student union or just two lecture theatres, you could do this in half a month and uh, you'd be pretty good in, in hammering out those objectives. So here you can see we've now got our level 14 students. So we're looking at the students that we've got that are close to level 14. And notice there we've got three on level 13 and a few that are on level 12. So those level 12 students later on, if we're struggling to get them up, we can send them immediately to private tuition, which should give them a nice boost to their levels. So let's jump ahead so that we're a little bit closer to the end of the year, probably before, just before we complete this level 14 students objective. And as you can see, we're completing more as we go, which is giving us more and more boosts to the point where we've only got 200 eggs left to collect going into April, which means we can get about 50 each month right up to the end of the year and that would be enough for us and as well the students are still working in those archaeological dig sites which is going to boost us as well quite naturally so looking really good okay here we go we've got one more level 14 student to get we're on 636 eggs collected and we're into july so at this point you might start a panic but as soon as that objective completes you can see all of the glitter that has now just started to form everything is kicking off the sound can barely contain itself because there's so many eggs popping up here so you can see here we were at 635 or something and we are now flying through clicking as many eggs as you can keep it slow as soon as you're close to getting that objective done you've got to slow things down and you can see us flying through now loads of them being complete be very careful how you click you might accidentally select a room or something it's one of the pitfalls with having such a tight congested area there we go i just clicked on a rabbit hole by accident 686 we're on 688 and we still got half a month left so even if we don't manage to get all of these we're definitely going to complete the objective and that's pretty much it there we go we've hit it so all of those uh, eggs were just unlocked in the lower uh, archaeological dig site there as well which put us over the line and you can see stuff is starting to twinkle away as we run out of time to collect the eggs from that last objective and our next one is campus level 15. so i guess they go on a rotation so you could get um, student level 14 you could get average uh, assessment score of 90 percent or you could get campus level 15. go for the one that you're most likely to achieve obviously you have to wait for the next one so it is a little bit of a tightrope to walk we could probably squeeze in another couple of objectives here to give us a little bit of a boost but i'm pretty comfortable with where we're at having completed all of our objectives so my tips for this going into it you've got to keep your students happy you've got to keep their grades up uh, making sure that you're able to cover all of these extra objectives that you would potentially get lots of plants will always help don't do the training ones they're going to take far too long and they're going to really stunt your growth 
uh, upgrade ones I would take at your own discretion everything else you should be able to achieve it's just that final objective that you need to watch out for you can manage your finances with ease as you can see here we're on $117,000 so as long as you're kind of hitting around about the 200 mark by the end of your first year you're close to around about 4 450 midway through your second year you should be okay getting 250 eggs in that last six months is more than achievable and uh, yeah that's about it have enough stuff for your students to do events make sure you put in some private tuition or have a very good library to boost their learning rate put a medical office in that'll keep them happy although i didn't get too many medical issues so you could actually leave that out the dormitories are important because they'll keep your students happy but the most important thing is getting your campus level to eight by the end of your first year that's going to allow you to expand the course and give you enough of these archaeological dig sites to follow through and complete the rest of it keep your campus building small and your outside areas quite large so that you can unlock the maximum potential with those um, rabbit holes that's pretty much all i've got for you today but you can see what that we're going to finish this off by completing all of our objectives we're at 738 and uh, looking really comfortable all of our dig sites have been used now that's 739 that's the last one i think we're going to get and there we have it 739 egg and silver spoon race completed i hope this video helped and you picked up a few tips um if you need any more help drop a comment and i will uh, do my best to advise you if you're struggling with it and if anybody would like to see a live playthrough of this, this did take me an hour, so I have had to condense it down. But let me know, and I'll maybe schedule in a stream to kind of walk through it a little bit slower. Thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next Two Point Campus video. Appreciate you so much. Bye-bye.